Hey, it's cool, but we easy. What's up? Ambassador, brother. Oh, yeah. Yeah, man. Man, one of the most talk about artists in Philly. Appreciate it. Been in this game for over a decade. Makes sense. Been doing your thing for emoji, the other things like that. We just going to jump right in the interview. Welcome to LRB Wall Star interview. Appreciate it. Appreciate it for you having me on, on your platform, LRB Wall Star. I yeah, appreciate man. you guys. I mean, you've been doing this shit for a while now, and yeah, yeah. I can see like the growth. I can see the growth. Like you actually really doing well. I really appreciate, it, man. I really appreciate. It. I remember. I remember like uh, we haven't met in person too many times. No, nope. but I remember at, at the show we met and you pulled me to the side. Whatever. You couldn't make you couldn't make me you couldn't make me watch my my you couldn't make me watch the performance. You put me to the side. We had a conversation for over thirty minutes, and the show was over. I remember there was a Panto show, right? Yep. Yeah. And that yeah. conversation that conversation was mainly about a lot of different things in the entertainment side that uh, we really gonna speak on. But before we jump into that, we just want to know who is Scuba Weezy for those who don't know. Scuba Weezy for one is an entertainer. That's one uh, family man. Mm -hmm. uh, Cool guy, yeah. supportive, mm -hmm. who are uh, willing to help anybody that's willing to be successful and be up there. If yeah. it's not me, if it's not me, it can be you. That's yeah. just me. That's what's up, man. That's your natural. That's, that's what's up. Where did the name Scuba Weezy came from? <laughs> that name, actually, I don't even know, but my, <laughs> yeah, the name, the name, uh, Schoolboy. My my friend just actually started calling me like Weezy. Yeah. So I mean, like. And I actually really love doing music, mm -hmm. music and stuff. For me, my space of being peaceful and mm -hmm. having the right mind, I relate to music. So mm -hmm. if I'm like going through hard stuff and other things like that, I just relate to music. So as I started doing music, I actually really used to like Wheezy. So mm -hmm. my friend name just, I, I don't know how they came up with that name. <laughs> <laughs> I just love it, just say, you know, Scuba Wheezy, that's the name. When you say Weezy, what are you speaking of? It's like Lil Wayne, because no when, yeah. when people say Lil, when people say Weezy, I think about Lil Wayne. Yeah, yeah, yeah Lil Wayne. And you got a dress too, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how long you been doing the dress? Yeah, how long you been doing the dress for? Five years. Five years. Five. Yeah, that's what's up, man. So, uh, when you first left Liberia, right? Mm -hmm. When you here, when you, you was in Liberia, right? When you when you first year, like, yo, I'm coming to America. Are you yes or your parents sent for you? Why was the process like coming to America for you? My process coming to America, it was it, it wasn't like a joyful one or happy one mm -hmm. because for one, I came here I was already sick. I came here, oh, I came here, yeah, I came to the United States sick. Uh, so, yeah, when no. I was back home, I used to play like active soccer. Mm -hmm. So on my team, I don't know who did it or who did what, yeah. but somebody gave me the, the African sign that people call Goa. Oh man. So yeah, I was in the sick bush for like seven months. Yeah. Almost to a year. I was in twelfth grade. Mm -hmm. And my parents, like my entire family was already here. Yeah. So they actually saw that it wasn't even getting better because the guy that was treating me in the sick bush, he told me that mm -hmm. if you stay home, whoever that always come and visit you, if that person keeps seeing you, you're mm -hmm. not gonna get better. Wow. So my coming here, I already knew that I was gonna I, I barely knew that I was gonna come here. Yeah. But I just didn't know the time. So Dang. doing that situation and everything. <clears throat> He just had to fast forward the entire process. He just mm -hmm. made me. I had to force my foot into shoes, yeah. wear big pants to cover everything. So immigration can't know that I'm actually coming to America sick. So I think, yeah. yeah, when I came here, it didn't take like, it didn't take a week. Mm -hmm. I got better. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. Damn, I never heard that before. Cause yeah, I, my, I already, I already don't have for the, the my, that story. My cousin DJ Rose, right? Rest in peace to him, right? Mm -hmm. The guy who put me on the DJ and things like that. Cause I used to be a DJ, everything, mm -hmm. but he definitely passed away from that from go out. Cause what he was talking about, cause his whole life get right now. Bad. It's a really bad sickness in the life. Right? Cause uh, people call it African sign, the African and sign. then people call it go out and things like that. That's one of the horrible things I've ever. But I'm glad you really survived from that. I'm happy yeah. for you, man. So when you first came to America, right? Mm -hmm. Cause you know when we in when we in Liberia. When you when you hear conversations about America, we think about a whole lot of different things that come with America. But when you first came to America, what was it like for you? I mean, when I first came here, it wasn't it wasn't it wasn't hard. It wasn't difficult. Cause mm -hmm. when I came here, it didn't take me a month. I got 
I got selected for a scholarship for, mm -hmm. for Wilmington College. I started playing. Mm -hmm. Even though I was there, my dad was being an African parent. Yeah. He felt like everything should go through him. Mm -hmm. But it actually didn't work because the white people don't work on the African time and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I had to leave and drop off. Mm -hmm. But I was still like interested in doing music even before I even left Liberia. Yeah. So when I came here, you know, I got involved into the soccer and stuff. I was playing, I was playing active football. I really do, you know, play soccer like that. But mm -hmm. I knew that I wasn't going to keep up with that lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so when I came back home after uh, Wilmington uh, University, because yeah. my dad was being difficult with the school program and stuff, yeah. and I started working, started doing music, going to the studio once in a while, True Story, shout out to, to True Story, I started going yeah. to him once in a while, and you see me, he was like, this kid really got something going on, so I should put my time into it. He actually never used to charge me or anything. Yeah. He used to record me for free, and. I started doing it for like a year, two, three, mm -hmm. and then I got connected with a lot of big names like Friday the Cell Phone Man. Yeah, shout out Friday. He came in Philly, he linked up with True Story, he listened to me, I was like, listen, I gotta work with this kid. And me and he did a collabo, and he just went up from there. Shout out to Friday the Cell Phone yeah. Man. One of the dudes that really showed me love too. Yeah, he Even though we didn't, we're supposed to get an interview done, but we didn't get our interview done because of time. I call him as an energy. Yeah, and he, he <laughs> an energetic person. So very, like, yeah. you don't know where the energy comes from, but you're talking about African parents being difficult, and then that's one of the things, too, in African home that really crazy, that mm -hmm. really make the kids go different ways, choose a different route. Yeah. Because the way our parents be on us. But uh, they just jump right into music right now, right? The song Emoji. Right? <laughs> The song that had a lot of people going crazy in Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. Libel going crazy in Minnesota. Libel, had, Libel going crazy in Phoenix, Arizona. Mm -hmm. Libel going crazy in, let's just say, Maryland, all the things like that. When you was making that song, why was why was your thought? Like, were you were you thinking like, uh, the song was going to go bigger, like it was going to blow, or you were just thinking like, oh, you know what, I'm going to just give this shit a try. Why was it like, why was that, why was that process like when you was putting the songs together and uh, also, Imagine like how much uh, impact that song would make. Uh, I knew that song. I knew that song was gonna be big because mm -hmm. for one, it was a Liberian sound. Mm -hmm. And the time that I did that song, that song was actually produced by Shadow Man when he just came Shadow, to America. Yeah. Like, we all was in the studio. I can't remember. I think it was uh, Young Moose. Shadow Moose too. JBS were there too. Uh, yeah. Uh, DJ Beans, Girl, True Story, Shadow Man, even D12, like every one of them was in like the same crib. Yeah. When we did that song, they actually like brought that Liberia vibe. And mm -hmm. for me, what I normally do, like, even though I'm residing in America, mm -hmm. I get myself from back home in here. Mm -hmm. That's why every three years, I always make sure that I go back home mm -hmm. and I come back to America to like be in between, get both sounds from both words and stuff. Mm -hmm. So, like, for for that song mm -hmm. is it's I can say it's a classic. It is. It's a classic. It I is mean, man. Imagi had everybody going crazy in the city. If I'm actually doing like performance right now, like mo like most of my performance right now, I really don't perform it. Mm -hmm. But I feel like people do be willing to hear me perform mm -hmm. that song. Yeah. But it's more other song that I actually need to promote than emoji because they already know the song. Mm -hmm. If I stop performing that song, people are going to sing along with the song. So I really don't need to actually put yeah. the energy into that. I need to put energy into other songs. Mm -hmm. I need to be heard. Okay, so uh, what we want to do too, we want to talk about features, right? Because mm -hmm. you got you got some features that really go crazy with people on it. Like Phil Caesar, mm -hmm. like uh, what are you what are you doing in Sawir, uh, Joey Costa, and other things like that. Right. When you're working with these people, what's the, what's, the, what's the process like? And when you're working with these people, what's the creative process like? The right question I would ask is when they're working with me, because I got my own vibe, my vibe not going to change. I like that. Yeah. I'm, j I'm just me, my vibe not going to change for mm -hmm. anything else. So mm -hmm. I would say that if they're working with me, mm -hmm. if like you cannot catch on to my vibe, that's fine. Yeah. But my vibe is not going to change. But working with, working with other artists, I feel like that's, that's something that... I actually got to get more involved into because mm -hmm. when I started doing the music and coming up in the in this like real industry, like mm -hmm. I started doing songs with like bigger artists that I never even thought that I was gonna do songs with. 
All you right. feel me? Like yeah. I, when I started doing music at first, uh-huh. I know I used to like do some with like local local artists and stuff. I started doing some with like big bigger artists, people that actually sat down and watched perform. Okay. I started doing songs with them. But, Even when I came here, uh-huh. I heard that true story was one of the big artists on this side. Uh-huh. I got a song with him. Cause yeah. like my sound was just different. I'm always me. I'm always gonna be me. So what's your relationship with True Story? It's moment? still the same group. I mean, everything's still fine. Yeah. Everything's fine. Yeah. I really just don't go back to the studio to record because uh-huh. I feel like doing the music. Uh, we're gonna do the music and go forward. We actually doing it for the next future and stuff like that. Uh-huh. So I feel like sounds every year is change. Yeah. So <clears throat> that change. Yeah. I'm looking forward to that change. So mm-hmm. I look forward to working with different producers, different artists and stuff. But yeah. certain people just want to, you know, like work with themselves and just be themselves and stuff like that. But for me, I work with different, different producers. Okay, that's dope. Uh, no, 